Well, now law enforcement and DOT are trying to change that by installing lights, possibly cameras, and maybe fencing so that concrete like this won't end up on your car. At this point in the drill, Ecology is responding to 75,000 gallons of oil that is spilled into the Columbia, which has crews checking the impact on land and wildlife. Well, I can tell you, I worked hard to get you answers today. I was basically camped out in front of the sheriff's office all morning trying to get questions answered. In more local news, the Republican convention was underway today, one day after former VP candidate Sarah Palin was in town to visit family and throw political support behind U.S. Senate candidate Clint Didier. But this year, there's been so much rain that it's brown, all the way through the entire bale. And in some cases, some of this hay is speckled with black mold. David Webster, 80 grand. Vicente Ruiz, 100 grand. But Sisuvon, nearly triple that, $295,000. Then there are aisles like this one, the shoe aisle, which is in complete and total disarray with boxes thrown about shoes mismatching. It's still unclear what triggered an apartment fire in Seattle that killed five members of one family. This is where everything's lined up for the state crime lab to go into the home and come back out with items of interest. Absolutely a monumental decision for the Richland School District. This is the first time they've ever gone public with disciplinary action. In the end, the school district chose not to fire either vice principal. At West Richland Fire District 4, it's the only district in the entire county that doesn't have its own ambulance service. Well, a lot of drivers assume it's the number one spot for speeding tickets in the Tri-Cities. But if you thought that, you'd be wrong. It happens on a daily basis. Next to the Audubon trails and butterfly signs, a disgusting find. Gobs of toilet paper. Police say a sign of sex in the park. It's kind of gross, but it's man on man, stranger sex. in Clinton Park has been going on for quite a period of time. We knew that already. Action News uncovered evidence of men looking for sex on the sly in a report two years ago. Back then, police cracked down. Well, they shouldn't have to come across this kind of stuff. But we went back to the bushes again, and it didn't take long to find evidence of the same dirty deeds. That's a spot where it's occurring. Sergeant Ken Latin spotted a sleeping bag. That is not supposed to be found in nature. Apparently, nature lures more than just the bird watchers. Are you Robert Gudgel? Robert Gudgel was arrested last month for exposing yeah, himself to an undercover officer. I'm here because uh, Kenwick Police says that you have exposed yourself to one of them at Columbia Park. They claim that, yes. Did you expose yourself well, to a police officer? No. Well, it says here that you were arrested for exposing your genitalia. That's true. So you did expose yourself? No, I, it's true that I was arrested. Oh. But I've, I am not guilty. I've pleaded not guilty. And the trial comes up sometime in the future. It says that they rounded up a bunch of people at Columbia Park for lewd conduct and sexual activity. I, I don't know anything about that. I was, just, I was just out there hiking the nature trail, which I do several times a week. So you were just hiking in the park? That's right. Okay. It's about a mile, mile around, and I was about a half mile into it, and, uh, and uh, I walked up into a swarm of detectives. Police say they randomly enforce trails all the time and often bring out undercover officers, but it's still easy to hide. Do you think there's anything differently to be done to make sure that the people aren't engaging in sexual activities here? We're just going to continue to step up patrols. We're going to make this an undesirable place to come and uh, fulfill their desires. Tucked away in the playgrounds and picnic tables, they're working hard to make sure you don't get an eyeful. As sheriff's deputies rolled up, our cameras were rolling too. At least a dozen cars descended onto Ella Stewart's Benton County property. Followed by a command unit and 50 volunteers. It was clear this was a well thought out plan. It's about time. This is what they were after. Toy Eskimos. Once estimated at 200, they found more than 400 dogs in desperate and deplorable conditions. That's just horrible. I mean, if you look, 300 dogs, they cannot be treated this way. A neighbor led us onto this rooftop to get a vantage point of this. Dogs in dirty cages, drinking out of filthy water, sitting in their own waste. I'm going to be honest with you, it looks like slums. It truly has been like living next door to a nightmare that you can't wake up from. 400 barks ring out from across more than two acres. Puppies in shopping carts, tiny pens, hot cages, some just days old. Many with their eyes swelled shut, fur matted, serious skin problems. The stench 
was overwhelming. It used to be controlled chaos, but now it's just chaos. While some dogs hid, others fought for their lives, dragging their feet as crews tried to count all of the animals. Our cameras caught one toy pack attacking another dog nearly to death, his bloody body beaten down before rescuers swooped in. Oh, thank you. Well, I knew that if it ever was going to get done, it had to be done to this magnitude. And it was. Deputies and National Animal Agencies documented the dogs and finally pulled them from their dingy pens, saving every toy Eskimo one by one. Once a year, hundreds of these fluffy alpacas in Benton City get a buzz cut. A single alpaca can pump out between two and five pounds of fleece. Just look at the before and after. The prized wool is bagged up. Oh, it's very soft. To be spun into soft yarn. The coarser hair from the legs and belly is often just thrown away. Until this year, when owner Brenda Trammell learned that extra fleece could be used to help soak up oil pouring into the Gulf of Mexico. Environmental experts say hair is one of the best ways to soak it up. This is probably about three or four pounds. It really does make us feel good to use all of the fiber that these guys grow. They're wonderful animals, and if we can put it all to use, then we're very happy about that. This is just an awesome project. We're, all of us, all the farms here in the Tri-Cities are excited about being a part of that. Now, several breeders in eastern Washington are shearing, bagging, and donating clippings to volunteers in New Orleans. They'll be stuffed into these nylon booms or used to make hair mats. So far, nearly half a million pounds of fur and hair has been donated. One pound of hair will make a one foot by one foot by half inch mat which will absorb one quart of oil. And it's not just alpacas doing their part. Dogs and their groomers are pitching in too. I think it's pretty cool because anything we can do here locally to help the Gulf would be awesome. And if Fido's haircut can soak up some of that oil, so can yours. 370,000 salons across the nation have signed up so far to collect human hair clippings. If they want it, then we definitely will continue to do it. Yeah. So. And your alpacas would be excited if they knew they were helping oh. out. <laughs> they would love it. <laughs> From shearing to shaving, it's a new way to help out the Gulf Coast. In eastern Washington, Chelsea Copta, Action News. Our big story tonight, three cities, three major cone zones. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for staying up late with us tonight. I'm Chelsea Copta. In more local news, the Republican convention was underway today, one day after former VP candidate Sarah Palin was in town to visit family and throw political support behind U.S. Senate candidate Clint Didier. Action News took the opportunity to ask Palin about current Democratic Senator Patty Murray's chances of being unseated. She is a member of the establishment. That is that status quo that people are so tired of. And we're saying, hey, if you've been a part of the problem, like Patty has been, then you're fired. You know, we're going to hire the new guys, uh, those who will um, recognize what it takes to put the economy back on the right track. What's on my mind is our posterity, our kids and our grandkids. This reckless government we got today are ruining their shot at the American dream. Palin is reportedly supporting Didier over two-time Republican gubernatorial candidate Dino Rossi because she didn't wait to see what the lineup would look like. Well, local veggies are making bank. Despite recent heavy rains, Action News found community-supported agriculture farms are still doubling their profits. CSA is a program that allows people to buy shares in local farms. In exchange, farmers grow whatever the customer wants. Farmers tell us they've also doubled their customers in just a few months. I think people are starting to get the sense that, you know, maybe there is a better way to eat a tomato that hasn't been trucked 1,500 miles. As part of CSA, customers get fresh vegetables each week for five straight months. It's still unclear what triggered an apartment fire in Seattle that killed five members of one family, including four children. As the investigation continues, it's been another somber day for those who knew the victims. Well, forget pin the tail on the donkey. This kid had a little bit of a different game planned out for his birthday party. 215 tidy whities Now, Terry, I think you could give that kid a run for his whoa, money. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. I quit wearing tidy whities oh some time back. Um, <laughs> Last you know, it's, it's, it's